and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Ezreal. That's right, we got a pretty cool, unique uh, champion combination here. We're going to be playing a uh, Sharima PNZ deck that honestly looks pretty solid. Looks like we just have kind of good cards everywhere, and that's that's always a good sign. We're not necessarily like only built around Ezreal, with, but we will have plenty of cards that can target uh, enemies. And we're not necessarily just built around Sivir, but we're going to be doing a lot of damage. You know, these PNZ cards, you know, all these uh, non-combat damage do count towards Sivir's level up. I think just kind of putting them together, it should just kind of give us a, a nice versatile kind of mid-range deck that uh, has good interaction, good attackers. Um, and we also have some pretty good card advantage with having the, the three Preservariums, uh, three Ruinous Path um, in here. So I like it, you know, like the, I like it. And, you know, the card draw is going to be good with the Xenotype Researchers. Um, and, of course, Xenotype Researchers making these things larger, always good as well. Like Sand Spinner is uh, a card that's just a really strong card. But, like, how it has Grant the Enemy minus one, minus zero, and Vulnerable, that does count as a target for Ezreal. So that works out pretty well there, too. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to go play our five games in ranked here with Sivir Ezreal. Be the stuck here. All right, Fiora Shen. So we're gonna mulligan the Ruin Runners, and you know, because they're they're fine, but we don't really need to keep our top end card. Like the Sharima board when it's mirrored like this looks pretty cool. So I don't usually like playing two ones against Fiora. We do have like these small damage spells, Death Ray, Mystic Shot, that kind of stuff. That can help the two one out. I know what I want. The eye of twilight sees all. It's a living. So love the quicksand draw. Quicksand's great against barriers, and of course Shen and Fiora Shen in general all about those barriers, so love that quicksand draw. There is no dispute. And this is going to work out pretty well for us, unless they have Ranger's Resolve. They do not. You must die. I've got your back. Let them eat souls. Try me. Yeah, that quicksand draw was pretty good. We'll just get rid of this thing too. Okay, nice open attack for seven. Aziz, command. Show them what we're made of. Humanity is obsolete. Gonna start making these ignitions. Look what good comes of mortal greed. System upgrade. Yeah, I've already killed two champions. That is good, but I am running out of interaction. So where are we at? So that's going to be 26. There's passing. So if they play Judgment, what's my plan? So my plan kind of would be like I need to level up this Sivir first. Yeah, definitely considering casting Ignition. This pay by the hour. Okay, well, no judgment, so that's good. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. 
do seven damage. So five. And we need to do eight damage. Sorry. So that's eight right there. And then Sivir is leveled up. Okay, so it looks like Lifesteal Barrier is their plan. Yeah, it looks like Lifesteal Barrier is the plan. Okay. They would not be able to heal enough life to stay alive anyway, though. Uh -huh. Alright, Twist of Fate Fizz. Alright, so I love this hand. I'm going to just keep this. I definitely really like Death Ray and Static Shock against the, um, you know, like, their kind of deck. Um, and, I, and I want, we need the card draw, though, right? Like, even if we have, like, some removal spells, we need to not, you know, we need to make sure we don't run out of cards. So the Preservarium is very important as well. So I like it. All right, lots of removal. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this. I don't get to drain two from the en enemy nexus, sure, but basically this costs one mana right now to draw a card where, if, you know, I wait, it costs more. We're not gonna do the other one. Alright, so obviously the plan's Twisted Fate. Should still be fine at killing Twisted Fate with... I play this, then we go Thermogenic Beam for two. Okay, well. At least trades with three cards. Got rid of a Mystic Shot. A get excited and a pick a card, especially that pick a card. Very important, so I will take getting rid of three cards. Now we are up a bunch of cards. Like a fish in water. <laughs> but they can come back. They got card advantage of their own. The soul wears away like grains of sand. Hmm. I guess I should have waited. Suit up and stress testing. I guess I should have waited on that sand spinner. But we're still okay. Discarding wiggly burble fish. I feel like that's kind of odd, discarding Wiggly Burblefish like that. See what we see. So they, dis they discarded the Burblefish just to make two Daring Poros. Oh, it must have been the Fleeting card, right? Because like, Stress Testing got a Fleeting card. That's what it was. It was, it was the Fleeting card from Stress Testing. Why not Ruin Runner? Because I I would only have three mana if I play Ruin Runner. And I want to have a little bit more mana for interaction. I already have like an okay attack. I want to be able to kill some stuff. Basically, I kind of want to keep like all these kind of cards around. Alright, so play this. We have two. Let's play the bot. Once I stamp papers, now faces. All right, I want to get the death rate in the deck so that we draw it again. So 
That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Can't say no to Fizz. We're gonna want to quick sand the Fizz. In this turn. So I need to have three other mana to spend. For now, I'm gonna pass. No, so they, they've played two Burble Fishes. They still have another one in their deck. Because one of them was the, the Iterative Improvement Burble Fish. Quicksand has been very good for us, though. Quicksand has been very good. Does have to mean they have some kind of burn spell in hand. All right, so they've already played. I'm gonna be going for the thermogenic beam on the fizz. They've already played two of these things, like these zero mana cards. Alright, cool. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. So it's looking good so far. No twist of fates have been played yet. One pick a card. So that's what I'm worried about playing Ruin Runner this turn, is that if I play Ruin Runner, they play like a, a Twisted Fate that goes crazy. Alright, just a Ballistic Bot. I can allow them to have a Ballistic Bot for a turn. Leveling up that Sivir. Sivir's gotta be pretty close. 27. What's up, Sivir? This place reeks of rot and death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? <laughs> Poor Fizz. So hated because of Twisted Fate and Burbles. Yeah, before, before Burbles, nobody really hated Fizz. Okay. No, I was gonna kill stuff. So yeah, I was, I was, I was gonna target their two, three. With that death ray. But yeah, we had that. Okay, we're back at it. Same matchup. We'll see if we can get the same kind of hand and have it work out just like last time. Because that worked out really well. So Ruin Runner gone. Again. And Ruinous Path. We need, you know, we want to have interaction early. Aftershock's a little expensive and slow. But I'm, I think I, could, I think I'm gonna keep these two. Cool. Both very good draws. This is a great Static Shock matchup. Perfect. Death, very great Death Ray matchup also. So very good draws. I don't know. If, mm. Just don't like the idea of giving them the free spells every single turn. Especially spells that whittle away our health. Each one doing... Uh, you know, what, 5% of our health? 
And then, of course, putting the Death Ray back into our deck has advantages. All right, got to, got to get that Xenotype Researchers. Buff up this Ezreal. Oh, Ballistic Bot. Wrong 1-3. Like Knew we were drawing a 1-3, just had the wrong one. So of course, this is a the MK2 is a creative card. Hey, Cabo. Let's see. So now I drew the Sivir. Now I want to play the Sivir before attacking. I was just planning on attacking, but now I want to play the Sivir. Let's see. If I just attack, we're hitting for five. Let's play the Sivir. Alright, well, Wait a minute. that'll work out perfectly. You don't see a whole lot of Pool Shark in this deck, this Twi Twisted Fate Fizz deck, and, but that was a really nice Pool Shark right there. Something the matter. Cool. Well, I'll take that. That was worth it. I'm just going to save the spell mana. Sweet. I, am superior life form. I imagine they play something else, right? Because they still have the fleeting card, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Lots of rummages. Okay, so no more rummage in the entire deck. They are rummaged out. This is bad by me. Well, I don't know. Basically, do I want to play Ballistic Bot or not? I did that thinking that I was going to Aftershock their Ballistic Bot, but I guess I could have played my own. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Keep them from making these. Ooh. Okay, so they got one more card in hand than we do. But our card in hand's pretty good. It's a static shock. Humanity is obsolete. Their cards in hand are pretty good too, though. Like what's their what's their plan with that? It, like challenge with the four two? Oh, well that's a plan. Yeah, Burblefish creating those spells is always very, very good. Experience that with um, with the Freljord version. We made a lot of Elixir of Irons, or now Three Sisters. Burblefish was just awesome. The 
Emperor commands, the land obey. You've got a problem. We got rid of their spell shield killer. Yeah, so it's just gonna cycle that. But it does mean they don't have the vulnerable anymore. No outsiders. Whoa. I guess they're, you know, they are at nine. So they still got lots of cards. They are out of rummage. Yeah, this is probably a mind meld deck. With them playing coral creatures. So that suit up was... <laughs> was from my vulnerable thing dying. So I got a little punished by waiting on that. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Time for a true display of skill. All right, so that one did not go as well for us as the first Twisted Fizz. Okay, playing against some spiders. All right, we definitely need to mulligan our second Sivir, and I guess Preservarium as well. I could see even mulliganing this Sivir too, because we gotta be able to play defense. We did play Z. Oh man, remember we played turn three Xenotype Researchers last game? We never drew any of the allies that we gave the plus three, plus three to last place. game. Um, an unfortunate mulligan, finding all expensive units. Well, we're not going to have any units left. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. They'll never see it coming. The hunter. Inferior design. Don't touch that. Damn it. Safety disengage. <laughs> yeah, very. Not a good hand. Not what we won. With our Ezreal deck with a lot of cheap removal, having none of it. Yay, there we go. That's a good card. Would have been nice to have on turn one, but live with what you get. Alright, so I played hmm, I played that Ignition to make this Ballistic Bot a 2-1, but maybe I should not have... That's That was maybe a mistake by me, that if I would have saved that one spell mana, then play Ezreal Attack with it, create a Mystic Shot cast it. So that that was a mistake casting that ignition. I know what I want. Is lit. Business as usual. I know what lurks in the shadows. Can you improve perfection? Okay, this is me going down to nine. Make it seven.
Okay, so that deals two. All right, so I can't play, can't play Sever. Definitely the, the scariest, you know, that's definitely the scariest card in their deck. If they got another one of those, we probably dead, but not looking great right now. Okay. They'll death ray that, so we go down to five. Down to three. Clear it out. Excuse us. I don't know why I'm not blocked. I need a block with Ezreal also if they just play Transfusion. That'd be sad, but okay. That's I love seeing that, obviously, because you know like that's not a burn spell that kills me, so I love seeing that. Yeah, they're back up to sixteen. We have Ruinous Paths, the card in our deck that can heal our Nexus. Yeah, I think Xenotype Researchers is a good card, because a 3 mana 3-3 three, three is, is perfectly fine. And it does it's you know, it is a very high roll type card, right? Because yeah, a 3 mana 3-3 three, three is perfectly fine. And then like sometimes, like whenever you hit with it, it is awesome. And a lot of times you won't. You know, like we've seen like with these games, like we're not hitting with it. It's not guaranteed that you're gonna hit with it. But if you do hit with it, it is awesome. Why should we play the, the landmark first? Because like Ruinous Path's the only card that helps us gain life, but I couldn't. I can't draw into Ruinous Path and then also. All right, so now. Because, like, if, like if I would have played the Preservarium first, they could have the, the Fervor, though, too, right? Like, so, like, if, if I would have done that, then they Fervored, then I couldn't do anything. But now I have the... the now I have the Mystic Shot for Fervor. So I'll just let it go away. I don't want a Mystic Shot, and then they Fervor in response. There's nothing to fear. Um, because they're at 10... So they do know about the death ray in hand. They were counting. Like I do have death ray. They know about that. Okay. See, I was brother spawn. Okay. We'll keep Sivir alive, and this should be game, unless. Unless they top deck a spell that does uh, three damage fast speed. Oh, never mind. Forgot my Xenotype Researchers was dying. For some reason, I didn't realize it was dying. Right, because it was Arachnoid Horror. I, I had in my mind that it was still the 2 3, not the 3 2. That was close. That was quite close. Okay. GG's. That was really close. No, I knew there was something else I was supposed to do. Sorry, caretaker. Okay. So we're going to keep all these. I could definitely see getting rid of Sivir. No, I guess Sivir has Spell Shield. We good. I was gonna say like I like they're gonna just like frostbite it in combat. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I thought. Okay. I thought you were talking about my version because I was gonna say that I I built that one. I remember building that.
Shields unite the frail yard. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. Swiftly now. So if, if their plan's reckoning, that's not gonna work. I mean, a pass doesn't look that bad. Yeah. yeah, this card, yeah, you're always happy to have this card. This card's really strong, the Sand Spinner. If they go kindly tavern keeper, I'm gonna be sad. I hate having to put my face on. Is this one death ray gonna turn into MK2? Ah. Uh, let's say is this one death ray gonna be killing both those things, but no, I guess not. No, I haven't done Shreem of Fearsome with the new expansion. Kordek um mentioned that before. And so so many sivers. So I know that the that the ash had vulnerable still. But I just I just felt that Ash is just much more important than LeBlanc. Watch and learn. All right, so you can click on Kit, and Kit does that when you click on, or if you pet Kit. I apologize to your parents. Gotcha. Either way, it gives you those kisses. All right, what they use? Brittle Steel. So deal one damage to random enemies or the enemy nexus five times. It's definitely considering shooting the Kato. But shooting that does turn on this ruinous path. This thing's slow speed. Forgot about that. Alright, Rune Runner, not a good draw. Only the finest serve. Mystic Shot is a good draw. Definitely wish this cost three mana instead of six. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well. So it did three damage to Trifarian Assessor, one damage to the Trifarian Glory Seeker, and then one to the Kato. I have to say that worked out pretty well. Yeah, that worked out fairly well. Where are we at? We're at five out of six. Hmm. This levels up Ezreal, and this this would level up both champions. If I Mystic shot this, it levels up both champions. Let me let this pass. Yeah, that was the best Ricochet I've ever seen. For sure. Hmm. Alright, so what are they at? Four. 
We're gonna win with Ricochet. Ricochet probably levels up Ezreal super fast, too. Oh, that doesn't even count as targeting? That's lame. I guess that doesn't level up Ezreal. Alright, so there we go. A 4-1 for Sivir, Ezreal, and I really liked uh, how this deck was put together. I think that... Um, there's a lot of stuff that I really liked about it. It had really good interaction, and a card in, with that interaction that was super impressive was Death Ray, right? Like, Death Ray looked great, dealing the one damage to um, something to start with, then turning to the MK2, the MK3. This card really looked good. This is a card that, you know, like we probably should have had with our Lucky Puff Cap stack, to be honest. This, yeah, this card looked really good. It was a card I was always super happy to have. Um, but then, yeah, you know, like we had other just like good removal and everything. Static Shock was awesome. Um, but then we had that card draw, right? So like the Preservarium and the Ruinous Path both looked good for the card draw spells. Um, you know, Ruinous Path doing the draining also while drawing and then Preservarium getting that draw too. Um, this again, you know, like our the Lucky Puff Cap deck, you know, I wish, you know, like we probably should have had this instead of like Zonite Urchin and stuff. But yeah, like these two cards were both awesome. And then I loved all the different threats that we had. You know, like, we weren't just an Ezreal... What made this deck good is that it wasn't just an Ezreal control deck, that that's what it focused on, of, like, only having removal in Ezreal and, uh, you know, being real slow and stuff like that. This was also a deck that had a lot of other threats, so like, besides Ezreal. You know, like, uh, Sivir hits really hard. And so if you're if you're uh, using a lot of removal, helping Sivir out, Sivir does hit really hard. But so does Sandspinner. And Sandspinner is also just really good interaction and also hits hard. Ruin Runner's hitting hard for us. And then, you know, we have our, our early game stuff with Xenotype Researcher, Researchers, Ballistic Bot, and Dune Keeper that were all very good at themselves. So, yeah, it, it this was a really well put together deck. I liked just the versatility of it. It was like a perfect mid range deck. You can be aggressive, you can be control, um, you know, you got card draw. This is. Just a very good mid-range deck. So I think it worked out really well. Um, you know, we played a lot of Sivir decks here recently, and I think this was one of the best ones for how it worked out. And it, it looked good. All right, so there we go. So that's Sivir Ezreal. So yeah, this one's definitely a very good deck. I recommend giving this one a try, those of y'all on YouTube. And if you do give it a try, leave those comments. Let me know how it goes for you. Or even if not, still leave those comments. Let me know how you liked the video, liked the, the games everything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. This is a good one. All right, but that's it here for Sivir Ezreal. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.